And the next pitch is way outside. At the belt and fires. Way high. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Up the middle, Adamas collects. Got him on the off-balance throw. Just got him on that one. Let's take a look at our lineup. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Jazz Chisholm. And hey, Boog, you know he's happy seeing a righty out there on the mound in this one. I mean, over 300 against righties on the year, so definitely you expect him to try to tack on a few more points of batting average with a couple of hits. Should be a good matchup for him in this one. Caratini takes it himself, and here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Batting third. Jazz That's Chisholm will hit next. Yeah. This guy has turned into Chisholm. a beast. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Next offering is downstairs. Two two. And yeah, that's outside. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Two outs, and a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back here at Lone Depot Park, Keston Hura up to hit now. Here comes the pitch. Keston. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 1 0. There's the swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Bounced up the middle. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Right-hander kicks deals, and that's in there at the knees. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. That's a really great job of sequencing. Pitch before, good fastball through the zone. And as a hitter, you got to be ready to get on that with two strikes. He breaks it off. Good slider to the outside corner of the plate. Tell you what, that was a really good pitch. Omar Narvaez at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Gira at first, one gone. In the air, right field. Soto settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. The throw in. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Man at first. Baseman, next to two. hit, Luis Urias. He caught Luis. it behind his back. On the money. Nice play. Bottom of the inning. And now it's Juan Soto. Leading up for the Marlins. The right fielder. The pitch. Wow. That's in for a strike. Left-hand batter waits. 
strike two quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And a swing and a miss and quickly one away in the second. And at the plate for Miami, Ty France, a guy who makes an impact pitch. not just at the plate, oh. but also in the field. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now it's even up. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the plate. Two and two. And that one in the air center field. Taylor racing over to make the catch. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. And that's in there for strike one. Heel one. And fouled off. Next pitch downstairs. Now one and two. Two down, nobody on. Good eye right there. Two two now. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. And now the count filled up three and two. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the right hander deals. Bounce to Caratini. And he grabs it. Foul. And there's ball four. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Austin Meadows in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And the 1 0. Bounce to the right. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And back here at the ballpark. Now here is Colt Luong. The second baseman. Next Colton. offering is down low. And that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a 1 1. Just missed. Count is two and one. The pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Now he'll turn for second, and it gets by him. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good, and that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate, and it's even better when it gets you extra bases. Love looking in at your dugout and seeing the guys fired up. No outs. Runner on second. In the air, left field, Meadows in position, brings it in, one down. Up now for Milwaukee, Christian Yelich. One for one with a single so far. Pitch misses inside, one and oh. Runner at second here, one gone. 
Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Now he breaks his bat. Whips it to first on the run. Yelich out on the play. And the batter will be the shortstop, Willie Adams. The shortstop, Willie. In Adamus. there, and it's 0 1. Wong on third with two out. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. It's going to have to. Well, going to pause on that thought as that'll. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's a speed threat. Harrison Bader. Leading off for the Marlins. The center fielder. The pitch. And yeah, there's a the ball. The 1 0. That's down and in. And that's down and away. And the tying run is on base. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Jacob Stallings now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. You'll want. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. There's a ball. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, he had that base stolen as soon as he broke for second. Such a huge lead. The pitcher's got to find a way to help out his catcher, especially if he doesn't have a great throwing arm. Step off the rubber, shrink that lead somehow, create a little bit more time where maybe you can prevent that stolen base. And now a full count. Runner at second, nobody out. The kick, the 3 2. And a foul ball. Runner leads away at second. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His second of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. team that hits home runs at such a high rate they can get back in the ball game so quickly that's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly so the lineup flips over John Birdie at the plate the third baseman number five Job. That one's in there, 0 and 1. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Next one misses, and that's ball one. And here it comes to count one and two okay from here he's got to treat this as a clean inning forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run got him down on strikes and he knew it here's O'Neill Cruz now batting shortstop 
Oh, yeah. Ooh. And it's fouled away. Next pitch is in the dirt. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses outside. Two and one. One down, base is empty. Check swing, went around. It's two and two. That one to first, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking no for right there. Two. There's nothing cheap That's about the way man. he got that one through the yeah. infield. That was ripped, cut out Cheers in front, one. and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And the pitch. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Kicks and fires. Fastball almost got him there. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Now the youngster wants Soto. Soto. First offering misses badly for ball one. Cruz stands at second with two gone. Foul ball. These guys like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Now it gets away from Darvaez. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Next offering is foul back. And a base hit knocks in a run. Picks himself up in RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Two outs, runner at first. Now and up next for Miami, Ty hit. France. First offering, misses the mark. And the 1-0. And another ball. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. The pitch. That one missing inside. There's the strike. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the now scoring that. position, the and a chance for this offense to add yeah. on to their lead. Yeah. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Aaron Ashby up and loosening in the pen. Lynn Bloom warming up as well. Next offering is way upstairs. Next one is off the play and a count two and one.
And the righty deals. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. On to inning number four. It's the Marlins three. Back here in Miami, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Hunter Renfro. Gibson back to work. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 0-2. Next offering is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Here's Keston Hira. 0 for 1 as he reached on an error his now first time around. Designated hitter, Keston Hira. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bader pulls that one down, and there's two down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Righty to the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. The wind of the pitch. Called strike right there. And he deals. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. On the ground, Chisholm handles to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Looked to me like he got on the side the of the ball a little too much okay. right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And runner on the go. Strike in there. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position with a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Bottom four. Here's the left fielder, Austin Meadows. Leading off for the Marlins. The left field. The right hander back to work. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And it hits the fence. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. He reached out a walk now his first time. The center fielder, Harrison. Pitch Bader. misses inside. Ball one. At the belt and fires. And that's in for a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. To the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. A couple of hits in a now row for him here. Catcher. Not much to this one other Take than just a willingness to go the other way Rolling. and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now it's going to be Jacob Stallings. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right-hander kicks deals. Bader runs. The throw won't get there in time, and he reaches safely. Not only are these guys applying some pressure on the defense, it looks like they're trying to have a big inning with that steal of second. Now two guys in scoring position. This could be the start to a nice rally. Righty delivers. Meadows at third. Bader at second with nobody out. 
The punch out there, and there's one down. Now it's the Marlins' leadoff hitter, John Birdie. The third baseman, number five, John Birdie. Bunting gets it down to first. Now two away as they get a run across. And now for the Marlins, O'Neill Cruz. That one fouled off. Nope. Next offering misses. One and one. one, and one. Two outs with a runner at third. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. Left hand hitter waits. And now two and two. And a pitch. And now it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Left hand batter waits. And he walked him. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that no last bad. pitch. Number but two. neither happened. Second Close baseman. pitch, but a good take yeah. to earn that walk. Chisholm at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. And time called prior to the 0-1. Next pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. Corners are occupied with two down. Next pitch is outside. Two balls and a strike. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. On to the top of the fifth we go. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Leading off for the Brewers, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. And the right hander back to work. That misses off the outside edge. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Soto makes the catch, and there's one down. Here's Luis Urias. Baseman, number two, Luis Urias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. -oh. And that one missing low. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead and counts he's been able to do that consistently and you see the results the next pitch misses and that's ball three there's a strike three and one the line to kick the pitch and that's ball four back to the top of the Milwaukee order next for Milwaukee Colton Wong and that's in there for strike one and the 0 1. And ball one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next offering is down low. Urias stands at first with one out. That one fouled off. Two and two. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now time is called here 
Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. You're Andrew Chafin please. enters the game, comes in with runners at second and third. Well, at this point of the ball game, Andrew. we're talking about middle innings and Chafin. a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty fought off foul. Two outs, two in scored position. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Stolens makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nice work from the Miami pen there. Last half of the fifth. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Aaron Ashby. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Leading off for the Marlins. The pitch. The right fielder. Soto Whoa. in the box now. No balls in a strike. Soto. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Ball to strike. The two on is high. Next offering finds the zone and the count is full. Yeah, there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. France, the next to hit, takes outside. The lefty, the 1-0. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 2-0. And a swing and a line drive at a right field and a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Up next for the Marlins. Josh That's Bell at the plate now. Josh Bell. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. And a pitch. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Next pitch is downstairs. for a strike now it's three and two not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's you know perhaps is going to be in the rotation well, maybe here's the pitch it's a double steal and a foul ball he stays alive Soto the lead runner at second France on at first with nobody out got him and one gone now it's Austin Meadows now back left fielder Austin Meadows. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Way inside. Gets out of the way. The next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. Three 
There's the strike. Runners on the move. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Harrison. Finger. And that one fouled off. In the dirt, but kept close. Nothing happening as the count evens at one. The pitch. Base is loaded. One away. Brook, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Smash to the left side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and a run is in to score. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So digging in, Jacob Stallings. He's already homered here in this one. Next for the Marlins, the catcher, Jacob. First off, Goal bringing it just misses. And the 1 0. Tapped softly on the ground. Gets it to first, but the runner scores from third. Thought they had a shot at him at the plate. John Birdie, the next up for the Marlins. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And first offering is fouled off. Second and third, two down. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. And it bangs up against the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Throw that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Here's a new pitcher. From the pen, Josh Lindblom. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Man at second here with two away. And at the play for Miami, O'Neill Cruz. Not shortstop. Oh, yeah. Cruz. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Center field. Taylor moving under this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. We're through five. It's the Marlins eight and the Brewers one. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Top of the sixth inning. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Willie Adamas. Really? Pitch misses inside, and it's one to no. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. 
and the 0 1. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Next one misses, and that's ball one. And the pitch. And it's even up. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now one gone in the top of the six. Now batting, designated hitter, Keston. Swings and fouls one off. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now stays alive. The pitch. And one and two. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Comes the 2 2. Grounder might be two. On to France. That's it out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some now worms while you're at it. The center field. Stepping in, Tyrone, Tyrone. Taylor. Taylor. In there for strike one. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the third out. Part of the order. Bottom of the six. Jazz Chisholm now. Leading off for the Marlins. The second baseman. The pitch. Yeah. Swings through that. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. Right handed reliever and a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Swing and a miss struck him out and one away. Juan Soto getting ready to hit one for two. Third time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Next offering is down low and it's a ball to strike. Next offering is fouled back. And the right hander deals. And the one two misses to even the count. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two now stays alive. Two two now swings and misses. Two gone now. Well, oh, Boog, I'll tell you when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had oh, hit me written oh, all oh, over oh, it, oh, and clearly he oh. just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Yelich makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and now the catcher comes up to him. Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez. Ripped on a line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint, and there's one down. Now that Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. 
Right. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. That's a ball. Out to short. Cruz handles the chance. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The 0-2. Hit weakly on the ground. Goes to second. Safe there. First and second, one out. Vic Caratini at the plate. And fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. And he'll two. Slice down the right side. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So first and second with two outs. Here's Yelich at the dish. In there and it's 0-1. Short hop liner handled it short. Throw and it gets away. And the batter down. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Base hit. One run is in. The throw into second, and he's out. Try for two. That ends the inning, but two runs. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Josh Bell. Leading off for the Marlins. The designated hitter. Josh. And here yeah. it comes. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Righty delivers. Bell, no base hits in the series for him so far. It's Just for the record, uh, O'Neill Cruz haven't thrown an error this entire season. So this is the extent they're willing to go through just to cheat you sometimes in games. Shit crazy. Gonna count one and two. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here is Austin Meadows. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. At the belt and fires. Pitch is in for a strike. That's strike one. Bell aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch misses. And a count two and one. Right-hander kicks deals. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Bell around third. Wong with a relay home. Slides his hand in there. Save. And the lead is up to five. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. 
Next one is off the play. And one and one. And it's second. Swang and a high fly ball in the air left field. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Runner tags it second. In there safely. Tried to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Stallings in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The 1 0. Runner on at third, one gone. Swing and a miss, and that is strike two. That's inside. Two two down. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Out towards right center field. And that'll do it. Back here in Miami. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Leading off from Milwaukee. The right fielder, number 12, Hunter Renfro. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Chafin back to work. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Kicks and deals. And now the count is even. Next offering is downstairs. And now the lefty. And that's in there at the knees. Here comes a pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Now Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Gira stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Meadows drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. And now here is Tyrone next Taylor. Milwaukee, the center fielder, Tyrone. First offering Taylor. misses the mark. Counts one and oh. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Anthony Bender. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 55. So two balls and no strikes. No, oh, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Bader makes his way towards it. Makes a nice running catch. And there are two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes Catcher. of balls oh. in the gaps. They practice oh this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Oh, and one now. Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. And that will end the inning. Brewers strand one. They trail it here. 9-4. And welcome back. Now the number two hitter, O'Neill Cruz. Leading off for the Marlins. Not sure. The right hitter back to work. Just off the outside part of the plate. And the 1 0. On the ground, right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two.
comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Narvaez to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Here's the second baseman. Jazz Chisholm. Yeah, the first offering is not close. That hits the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch. On the ground to third. It's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. We know you got to watch the ball all the way into the glove. I think he just tried to be too quick right there and skip. the first step of the process I'm sure he's in disbelief at what just happened more so than anyone else Soto the next to hit takes ball one way to lay off that fastball up right there you're looking for something you see well that you can handle but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high Chisholm the base runner at first with one out Another throw over, and he's back again. Again to first, and once again, he's back in safely. The pitch. And now one and two. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Over to first, and he's safe. Another throw over. And they're keeping him close. The one, two. That one missed. Run around the goal. Inside and it hit him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. In the air, left field, down the line. Yelich brings it in. Runner tags up for third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. One left. Back here at the ballpark, down the third baseman, Luis Urias. Bender back the to work. Baseman, number two, Luis. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Bader makes the grab. One pitch and one out. So the batting order turns over. Colt Luong, the next to hit, to the right side, stops it on a slide, and they get the out. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Brewers, Victor Caratini. Josh Hader on the pitch out of the pen here. He's been so good against lefties. Number 71. Meadows glides back. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Marlins slug their way to a win in this one. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. You got another team coming in. And you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well. And these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. Here now is our final line score for this afternoon. First.